felting it just seemed just seemed like you could sit down anywhere really and start making something. I've always loved art. I think that was my first love. Jeanette and Maurice Dezama sit down for several hours almost every night to put their love into their work. They're retired from their day jobs now, but like most artists, those jobs didn't include art. I haven't been able to make a living at it, so that's for sure. But what they've always needed are more venues, places to appreciate their art and sell it, but most take a pretty big cut. When you look at costs of framing your work and the time put in, put in that 40% is an awful lot to give up. Jeanette and Maurice are about to experience what it feels like to get 100% of the sale. Well, every year, the Art from the Heart show and sale features artists like the Dezamas helping to support their habit and promote it too. I would like to stress a little, or not stress, but emphasize uh, the, the show part of it and how we all benefit just by being in an environment where um, it's just filled with creativity and you can feel the energy of the, of the people, of the artists that have created it. And for the artists, there's also benefit beyond the buck. Yeah, it's nice that, to, that they appreciate your art and as much as we love making it. <laughs> it's not always the money part. It's more the gratification that someone else sees your art as art. You can check out more of Maurice and Jeanette's work at the Magnus Eliason Rec Centre on Langside this weekend. It's the 12th annual Art from the Heart show and sale. It's an opportunity to see dozens of other artists as well, working in a variety of different mediums. The show starts at 7 o'clock on Friday, runs till 9, opens again the next morning from 10.30 until 3. For Shaw TV, I'm Kim Kasher.